What's up guys, Fusions here. Today, we're gonna be opening up this Bakugan Evolutions Arla Sectanoid. So, let's get started guys. Okay, so first of all, I gotta say it, I'm not a big fan of Sectanoid. We have the Arla's one today, so that's even worse. Look at the colors there. I don't like that uh, Arla's cheese color, but you know what? I've been having this guy for a long time, so let's. it's time, it's time for, for me to release him, to actually take him out, show you guys how he looks and of course the stats and everything so yeah it's time um also you guys voted for him so people have been wanting me to open this up so i gotta do it uh, now every video i do a poll in the comment section below so go to the comments and make sure you vote that way the next bakugan i open you know you voted for so make sure you go to the comments vote all right so this is from Evolutions, it is an Arla's Bakugan, so kind of cool, but it is Sectanoid. Now, the main reason why I don't like this guy as much is because um, the mold itself does not close very well and does not roll very well. At least that's my experience with Sectanoids so far. So if this guy is better, hopefully, um, may it might change, but we'll see. Uh, let me know in the comments if your Sectanoids are also kind of wonky kind of bad when you close them and when you roll them uh let me know so this one is uh arla sectanoid comes with the character card a gate card and two baku cores let's open this up and let's get started so here we go back to gen 2. um i mentioned this in my last video but i haven't been uploading too many videos um and i already explained all of that in my latest live stream so Check out the live stream, my latest one, so you guys can see um, all the info about that. But I should be back. Hopefully, I'm gonna try my best to be able to film videos, uh, edit them, everything, you know, so I can start uploading videos again. I have lots of products uh, that I really wanna open up that I just have like sealed, that I, they were planned videos, but I just never got to them. So yes, we are gonna be uh, trying to do all this stuff and uh, and upload more videos for you guys. Also leave suggestions on what kind of videos you wanna see. Do you wanna see more Bakugan hunting? Do you wanna see some more um, review videos like this? Um, and if you do, let me know what kind. Like if, if in the poll there's not a Bakugan you wanna uh, see me open, then suggest what kind of Bakugan you guys would like to see me uh, kind of review or open up on the channel so you guys can see anyway let's get started so here we have the two cores that come with this bakugan we have a red fist and a green fist so the red fist is a 250b plus three damage very good red fist and then we have a really nice green fist as well 150b plus two damage so yeah very good cores uh, for their respective uh core uh i guess thing i don't know they're just really good cores for what they are uh, we do have a checklist. I miss these from Bakugan Evolutions. And this one has the Prisma, of course, right there. And then here's the full checklist for Evolutions. Very, very cool when they used to do this. Um, we do have a gate card right here. And we have Dan and Winton high-fiving each other in the air. Kind of cool. Gate card number six in the set. Very nice. And then over here we have the stats so the stats for this bakugan are arla sectanoid red and green 600 b7 damage now very balanced 600 b is in the middle seven damage is actually kind of high so maybe you can put this guy in a damage wins deck it does come with a red fist uh, it would get up to 13 damage uh that's the strongest it'll probably get because with b power it doesn't have a big a big b boosting core so yeah, damage wins will probably be the best way to uh, kind of win with this guy. Also, he's RLS, so it only gets worse. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this guy. Do you guys like him? Do you guys like the art of Sectanoid at least? Looks pretty cool. Let me know down in the comments. All right, now it's time to take a look at the Bakugan itself. So let's take him out. And let's take a look at this Sectanoid. So here it is. Here's the Mosquito. Uh, of course, you. I mean, I mentioned it at the beginning of the video. The color scheme here of RLS and Evolutions is not the best. Uh, we do have some silver here, a little bit of orange, and some gold on the wings as well. So pretty nice that they have gold and silver. Um, but let me know what you guys think of this Bakugan. Do you guys like it? 
Yes or no? I just want a yes or no. Do you like it? Yes or no? It's sectanoid. I'm more interested to see if it actually works. If this guy actually works. Because this is how I close them. Alright, so let's close them up. So I put this up. I just hold it because you don't really need to do that yet. Because first you kind of do this. Now you put this up. Then I would close this part. Right? One side. Same thing on the other side. This and then the other side. That is how I close it. And it should lock. And it doesn't sometimes. And this one is not locking. It looks like. There. It kind of it locked now. So I kind of have to jam it a little bit. So it, it locks and it actually closes. I don't know what's the like right way to close this. Because it doesn't even close all the way. You can see it's kind of cracked open a little bit. Yeah. So I don't even know if, what's the right way. I feel like there isn't a right way with this dude. Let's roll him onto a core. Let's roll him onto that Baku core. And let's see if it opens up. If it opens up. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Bro. I don't think I missed. I think it just went completely over the core. Let's just do another quick one. Just, let's see if it opens up. Here we go again. Three, two, one. Yep, right over. Now... This is the test right here. Let me place this on the core. Okay, it opened up. Nice, I thought it wasn't gonna open up. So it opened up, but let's try it again. There we go. All right, so it is opening up. It's just maybe the magnet isn't as strong. So when I actually roll it, it doesn't really pick it up. So let me try rolling it again. Let's see if it works. Okay, so this time I'm gonna roll it backwards. Let's see if that makes a difference. No, it just goes over. You can kind of even see a curve when uh, it passes over it. One more time. Backwards again. Here we go. I'm going to try to roll it as straight as possible. Okay, so that time it did open. So it, this one is not as bad as other sectenoids that, I've, that I have. Especially the platinum ones. So this one actually passes. It's, it's alright. It's alright. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this dude. Alright guys, so that's it for this opening of this RLS Psychonoid Bakugan. But before we go, for those of you guys that stayed all the way to the end of the video, we got a Bakugan Battle Planet, Age of RLS, since we did open an RLS Bakugan, uh, Booster Pack Opening. I did find this at the 99 cent only stores. You can check out my latest uh, YouTube short up here. So you guys can see uh, where, how I found them, where I found them. Uh, but yeah, they're, they were only $1.49.99. I don't know what the extra 99 is, because the 49 is already the cents. So it's, I don't know. But we're opening up an Age of Arliss pack. Let's see what we pull today. Hopefully some heat. Um, let's see. Let's see. We got a Paravian in this pack. Let's do this. Hoping for a very nice hex or just some cool cards that you don't see very often. Okay, we got Anchor Strike, Darkest Blast, Hack Attack, it's a Darkest Pack, Might of Darkness, Wipe Mind, that's a cool one, Phoenix Fire, very nice, we opened up that pack, literally, look at that, next we got Hypno Flash, we got Energy Drain, that's a very cool card, we got Touch of Darkness, for the Awesomer Flip, and then for the Hex, we have Power Roll as a Hex. Not the best Hex. It is a super rare, but it's not the best. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for, and stay tuned for more Bakugan content. Don't forget to go down in the comments below to vote for which Bakugan product I should open up next. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.